In this video, we'll try to understand how to trace hydraulic circuit. Now the circuit that we have chosen is shown over here. The various components which are involved, they are pump unit, which is consisting of the electric motor and the pump. Then the strainer or filter. Then pressure relief wall to safeguard the system. Shut off wall as shown over here then check wall which is provided for the flow of the fluid in only one direction then the pressure gauge to indicate the pressure in the system direction control wall so there are four ways and three positions so this is the left envelope mode this is central position and this is the right envelope mode and there are four positions p a b and t so p that stands for pump or pressure port A that is the cylinder port B is also the cylinder port okay? so and T for the tank or receiver then we are having again a pressure relief valve which will sense the pressure of the fluid which is coming out of the cylinder from the rod end the pressure the check valve then pressure gauge this is the flow control valve which is shown Again, we are having the check wall. So this is the meter in circuit that we are talking about. So that we'll see later on. And this is the double acting cylinder. The fluid is allowed to act on both the sides of the piston. So on the left end as well as on the right side. So it is a double acting cylinder. Now let us animate this particular circuit and let us try to understand with the help of simple animation, how we can trace this particular circuit. Now in the central position, as you can see all the ports they are blocked and the fluid will flow from port P to port T and again from strainer back to the receiver or tank so in this particular central position or block position the fluid flow path is shown over here from the pump will pump the fluid which is driven the pump which is driven by the motor and through this check wall which is the normally open position or it is a one way wall. This is the free flow position of this check wall. So it will get open from port P. It will enter into the port T because all the other ports they are blocked. And then through this particular path, through the strainer, via strainer, it will go again back to the reservoir. Now, suppose we operate this lever in such a way that the spool will get operated and we are getting this left envelope position. Then what will happen that we have to see. So let us animate this also. So let us assume the left envelope more position. So as you can see over here from B to T and then it will go to the reservoir or tank through the strainer. So let us trace this particular flow path. So pump will pump the fluid and the pump is driven by the motor. Then this is the free flow. So the fluid will pass over here. Now we have assumed this left envelope position. So from P to A it will go. Now it cannot, the fluid cannot flow from this side because this, this is no free flow position of the check wall so it has to move through this particular restricted flow control wall slowly so the fluid which is entering the cylinder is controlled so it is a meter in circuit and this particular piston will start along with this piston rod will start moving in the forward direction now the pressure from this side will be sensed by this pressure relief wall which is normally closed So the pressure will be sensed by this pilot line and the wall which is which was normally closed type will become normally open type over here from P to T and then again it will come to the B and from B to T and then through this particular strainer it will go to the reservoir. Once again we'll trace this particular circuit. So now concentrate on this particular circuit. So now we are having the left envelope mode over here and then it will flow through the restricted flow control wall 
and cannot flow from this side now the pressure will be sensed and this valve will get open as you can see the arrow has shifted over here so it has now become open type of the normally open type of the pressure relief valve from b to t and then from this particular strainer it will go again back to the reservoir now let us see what will happen if we are having this right envelope mode over here again the fluid will be pumped so first we'll see the right envelope mode the flow path is shown over here then we'll see the explanation afterwards now it will act on the rod side and the piston will be retracted as shown by the arrow over here Now let us see the explanation once again over here so the fluid pump will pump the fluid correct and then it will go to this free flow position of the check wall then as we have assumed the right envelope mode from p to b it will go over here it cannot flow from this side because this is a normally closed position then it can easily flow over here because this is the free flow of the check wall and then it will enter the rod side rod end of the cylinder and, and will cause the retraction of this particular piston the fluid from the other side it will flow freely because this is the free flow position of the check wall correct and it will also flow through this particular restricted flow wall then from a to t and then it will go to the reservoir via this particular strainer so in this way we can trace the simple hydraulic circuit thank you very much for watching